Welcome back to Thoughtology. Um, yeah, I've been missing. I was in a, uh, what was I in? Like a concentration Hiatus. camp. That's probably not a good joke to make. <laughs> Read the room. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, okay, no, okay. Yeah. Now it's, uh, yeah, it's been like, was it 200 years? I think we're Oh my god. <laughs> Let's scratch that part. No, right. we're keeping it. But continue. Right. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Thoughtology. I'm being held against my will. Please send the police. No, I'd I'm rather just do kidding. the concentration. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Hi, I'm eating some fries, and uh, I've just been busy doing shit. So, Jax, what do you want to talk about? I have my topics, but I don't know if you want me to just go on a tirade or not. Um, I was going to say, welcome back. <laughs> Listen, if you hear me chewing and you don't like it, just deal with it, okay? We are all we all have those days. Thank you for the welcome back. You look great, as always. Thank you. I look like I just rolled out of bed because I did. Anyhow. <laughs> Have you been to DC since it's open? Yeah, you this weekend? Yeah, I was out there this weekend for I don't know what the fuck I was there for. I looked good though. I looked like looked a bad good. bitch. I looked like a bad bitch. Um, yeah, I got a new job. Had a different club. And uh you know, it's whatever. Everything is more open now, so it's like a little more better. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, it's my fault because I got got Jack Spurs too. Yeah, I'm meaning to, sorry. I was, 20, I was 20 minutes late. That's <laughs> never happened ever in the history of Thoughtology. Michael doesn't even care that I'm here. I care, but I just wanted, I want people to know why you were on a high Oh, I, well, I, major depressive disorder, I guess. Oh, also, I was supposed to be on TV. That didn't pan out. Whatever. Um, I don't know. So I got interviewed for this TV show. And they were like, we feel like you're really, like, much better suited for Survivor. And I was like, okay, well, I don't want to eat bugs. Can't you just put me on this fucking dating <laughs> show? Like, you know? And then Jax and Jeff tried to set me up on a blind date. And then the guy got scared. Yeah, he actually... What did he say? Yeah. What happened with that? I don't even know the story. Um, I think he was just, like, super confident because he was, like, overly drunk. Mm -hmm. And then, like, he was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be on the show. Like... I got this in the bag, like, blah, blah, and then, yeah, just, uh, he Wait. woke up the next day and was like, God, there's no way I'm doing that fucking show, she's gonna tear me apart. I was like, damn, honestly, oh, that's, that's pretty yeah, true. That that's pretty true, like. Fucking hilarious. Oh, you wanna hear some funny lies that I've told at work lately? Yeah, ready? You do. You do. I'm laughing because I know, I'm, oh, I can only think of what you're The gonna issue say. is, I need a tissue. I have salt covered fingers and I can't suck on them on air. It's just like, I, that's where I draw the line. You know, like. I'm proud of you. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, so, me and Chandler were working last night, right? And um, I'm known to just make up stupid shit. And when we were out in DC the other night, she was like, dude, I don't know what it is about you. She's like, you just have like this instant credibility that when you say shit, people just like believe you. So now I'm just like really just trying to push it to a limit for my own, you know, basically my amusement. So yesterday we, we did doubles on stage and we're dancing or whatever and we get off stage and we start walking around. And I like Chandler because Chandler will back me up like with whatever I say. So she'll just like let me run loose and then hear whatever I say and then back me up 100%. Like she's <laughs> never like, wait, what? What are you talking about? Like that bitch is smart. Like she knows what the fuck she's doing. She's like, yeah, whatever she said is absolutely 100% true. So we're walking so around. Dollar schemers. Exactly. So we're walking around. We're doing our tip walk, and I was like, "You guys gotta tip my friend extra." I was like, "She gave me a kidney," and everybody's like, "What?" I was like, "Yeah, I needed a kidney transplant. Like, she gave me one of her kidneys. Like, you have to tip her extra." And they're like, "Oh my god, that's amazing, right? Like, so crazy. That's so amazing." Y'all are sickos. So we get to the backstage, <laughs> and mind you, Chandler had nothing to do with this. this is all me. And then so, oh, hold on, I'll tell that one after. So then we get to the backstage, right? Because there's two stages. And the backstage is literally the size of a porta potty. So we're just like, I'm standing up there dancing and she's like waiting. But these dudes started throwing money at me. And so I'm like, oh, well, Chandler, to get to get up. Like, let me work some magic and get her some tips, you know? So I, I'm like looking at these two guys in front of me. They like threw a bunch of money. And I was like, you guys got to tip my friend. I was like, you know, she gave me kidney, blah, blah, blah. And the guy's like, what? You guys were a match? And me not even thinking about that. I was like, yeah, isn't that crazy? 
crazy? Like, blah, blah, blah. He's like, wow, that's amazing. Well, Chandler started walking away to, like, go change or something. Mm -hmm. And they're like, wait, we want to take her friend. Like, she's walking away. And the bartender yells at me. And she was like, hey. She was like, don't talk to customers like that ever. And I'm just like, this fucking business. Oh. You are interrupting my fucking con right now. And I don't appreciate it. So then I got super fucking mad. Because just like normal, like, something terrible could happen. And I'd be like, oh, damn, that fucking sucks. Damn, that's crazy. And then, like, something very menial will happen to me, and I'll be like, rage, rage, fucking rage. So I went upstairs, <laughs> and I was fucking livid. I was like, how dare you yell at me in front of customers? Like, whatever, right? So I paid this girl, Lola, $25 to go downstairs and tell the customer that I was upstairs crying because, um... The bartender had yelled at me and she was like, yeah, no, that girl really did give her a kidney and she just wanted her to get a benefit, you know, from doing that, you know, selfless deed. And she's just like, she's just really sensitive about it. You know, it's still fresh. Like, and she took a fucking video of it. I have it on my phone. She took a video of her telling the guy and the guy was like, the guy was like, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. And she's like, it's okay. Like I talked to her. She's going to be fine. But just like, you know. In the future, like, just be sensitive because, you know, they're sensitive about it, you know, whatever. So I did that one. And then last weekend, I told everybody that we were fraternal twins mm -hmm. and that we actually had a brother in the womb, but we ate him. <laughs> and everybody believed it. And this one girl, are idiots. this one girl, <laughs> dude, because that's just what I'm thinking. But the about. thing is, like, yeah, me, like me and Chandler, <laughs> me and Chandler actually look a lot alike. Like we could pass for sisters. So like she just like lets me do the fucking talking, you know, and she just like kind of goes with whatever I say. Mm -hmm. And I'll just like be pulling shit out of my ass. And I'm like, I honestly, so she goes to school for like psychology. And I was like, bro, is this like a manic episode? And she's like, no, I don't think you're manic. I think you just have too much time on your hands. <laughs> but um, oh yeah, God. so then this girl came up to me at the club and she was like, she, what did she say? She was like, um, she's like, I did not know you had a twin in front of customers that I had just told a lie to. And I'm like, yeah, duh. Like, like she's like, shut up. I, yeah, I was like, <laughs> shut up. And she's like, oh my God, I never knew that. And she's like, that like actually makes a lot of sense. I was like, oh, does it? Does it? Geneva or whatever the fuck your name is. Like, does it make a lot of sense? I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, and then I told a guy I was 44 yesterday. That shit was fucking hilarious. And I got... Can you believe you? Yeah. Well, no, he didn't, but I was like, Botox, you know, works miracles or whatever. He was, he was like, in his 50s. But then these... Last night, it was funny, because me and Chandler, like, did not want to fucking be there, dude. Like, we had gone out the night before, and we were just like, yo, fuck this shit. Like, fuck you and your mom. Like, I literally <laughs> threatened to shit myself on stage. Like, I wanted to leave. <laughs> And I was like literally sitting there trying to formulate a plan and I was like, yo, I could go yell at the bartender and then be like, you know what? I'm taking my kidney donor with me and just throw you over my shoulder and walk out. And she's like, I'll back you, whatever. She's like, but, um, fuck, what were we talking about? What did I just say? We were talking about, um, if you uh, went out for DC, like, cause DC like opened back up. No, mm -hmm. oh, I was going to tell you another funny story. I don't fucking remember. Oh, yeah, so the last night I was dancing, and these three guys came in, and I'm, like, dancing. I'm, like, barely shaking my ass, dude. I'm just, like, whatever, man. I'm, like, <laughs> I literally looked like this at work last night. Like, I didn't put makeup on. I had a fucking ponytail. I was, like, I don't give a fuck. It's time to go. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. This is how we're going out. So, they come in. They think they're, like, big fucking ballers and shit, and they walk right up to me on backstage, and they're, like, you. We're going to get a private room with you. I was like, no, fuck, you're not. And they were like, why not? I was like, because I don't fucking want to. And this guy's like, do you have social media? And I was like, no, I don't. And he was like, you don't have any social media? I was like, no, I don't believe in it. Sorry. And then he was like, well, what about email? I was like, no. And he was like, email. I said, I don't even have a phone. I said, I, I said, they cause brain cancer, dude. Like, you shouldn't have a phone either. And he was like, well, how can I hit you up? And I was like, I don't know, send me a fucking carrier pigeon, I guess. Like... He was like, you're really mean. I was like, yeah, I truly don't give two fucks today. Mercury's a retrograde, guys. You you're know? really mean. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm not mean. I just don't want to let you finger bang me in a private room. So I'm not doing it. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's me being a little bit, you know, drastic. But <laughs> whatever. 
So yeah, so that happened. I'm trying to think of like other shit. But what? Did, wait, what happened? Like when we went out in DC, it was fine. It was cool. It was. I just say in general, like if you've been out to DC, I know DC is like. It's like those regulations are 100 percent Just waiting, to, just know? waiting to run into one of the guys that wants to say we used to talk, and I'm gonna say I've never seen that man in my life. Did you have to show your vaccination card? Because I had to do that when I was in DC. What vaccination card? Uh oh. The one I bought on Etsy. Just kidding. That's a joke. That is a joke. <laughs> now that is read the room. Now that's <laughs> that a is a joke. Yo, seriously. He's not joking. <laughs> Dude, seriously. I'm just at a point right now where I'm just gonna make jokes, and if it's not funny, that's just too fucking bad. No. Are you? Are you? Did you actually get vaccinated or not? Yeah. Yeah, I got. It's vaccinated. okay to not get vaccinated. Uh, I got vaccinated in somebody's basement. Duh. Would you get the Moderna? Um, I'm not going to tell you because the I got Spanish the one version. that doesn't have the government chip in it and I'm not going to tell you which one it is because when they flip that little light switch and all y'all become zombies, guess what? I'm not going to be affected. Listen, I'm cool with not Which one did you get? Pfizer, but I don't which know. Which one did you, oh, you got the rich people one. What'd you get? Pfizer? Fucking rich people. What'd you get, Sam? Pfizer? You know what? Fuck you guys. You know what? I mean, the rich people one is I'm going to be so honest. Free. Me and oh, Sam, me and Sam had a plug. We had a plug. <laughs> oh, oh, fine. All right, fine. We had a plug. He, 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 he's smiling because he knows. As as um, you get and y'all just said, ahead. y'all just said, fuck Mariah. Mariah didn't hit face it. Didn't she, wasn't she supposed to go like on a, you were in Puerto Rico or some shit. Yeah, you just have to test negative, homie. And I tested negative, homie. Oh my god, Puerto Rico was a fucking shit there show. There you go, that's a topic. Puerto Rico was a fucking shit show. <laughs> Jax is like, why am I even here right now? Well, I have a whole bunch of shit to tell you because I haven't seen you guys. So we get to Puerto Rico and we didn't know there was a fucking curfew, right? So the first night we were like, well, we'll stay in our hotel room because we're going to go out and we're going to party. False. All the bars were closed. You had to be in your fucking hotel by 10 o'clock. All the restaurants closed at 8. And if you got caught outside, it's a $5,000 fine. Ew. And the Wi-Fi sucked. And I was trying to watch Friends the entire time. And yeah, it was very traumatic. <laughs> very traumatic. So it wasn't an experience that you would recommend? <clears throat> and fuck no. It's just because you didn't go outside, though. I, I mean, I went to the beach and stuff, but it was just still, like, everybody's like, wear your mask, wear your mask, and they're, like, yelling at me in Spanish, and I'm like, no habla espanol. My ex tried to teach me, and I said no. You know? <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Like, a cop car came up and was like, woo 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 and they're, like, yelling at me and shit, and I was like, oh, you think I'm cute? I was like, yeah, you're kind of cute. And they're like, no, put your fucking mask on. I was like, oh, my bad, yeah. <laughs> read the room. Cute. Read the room, Ryan. Read the room. You know what? Can we just send me to, like, a mental institution for, like, 30 Jesus. days so I can finger paint, please? I feel like the darker my jokes get. <laughs> I feel like I just need to get her a collar. We do finger paint in this in the side board. We really I do. know. You know, the last what? time I was there, they let us do these little, like, glass window paintings, but we couldn't take it back to our room, obviously, because we couldn't use it to slit our wrists, you know? Um, but yeah, that's fun. You know what? Speaking of which, the next person that tells me to not make jokes about killing myself is going to get bit bopped in the face, okay? Don't and I talked to my it. friend about it, who works in a psych ward, and she said, the rule of thumb is, if you have been to the psych ward, you are allowed to make jokes about killing yourself, Okay? That's the rule. So listen, Jebecca, okay? If you haven't We're been to the psych ward, then you're not allowed to make jokes about it. So go shove that live, laugh, love sign right up your fucking ass, because I'm going to keep making fucked up jokes, okay? I'm slightly dead inside. I just took my Adderall 25 minutes ago. Shit's starting to kick in. Anyway, next topic. I don't even know where that came from. I don't even know how long we've been recording. We've only been here for 14 minutes. I feel like I've covered like 45 topics. I feel like you just went through a lot of things very quickly. <laughs> yeah. Next question. Uh. Am I famous it's yet? Summertime. It's summertime. It's <laughs> summertime. <laughs> it's summertime. That's she was about to say something about her family. Go That's ahead. pretty broad. Do you have any, uh, have you been like shopping for like summer clothes? No. Do you, you have any go to things that you've been trying to wear for summer? Let me tell you why. Because. Everything I own was built it's for a crop summer. top. Yeah, yeah, true. I'm fully prepared for summertime because I don't like to wear pants, and all my shirts are half shirts, so I'm pretty much set. I'm good to go. Um, however, I do have a crazy story to tell you that I just thought about. So clearly, my Adderall is not working that well yet. Um, <laughs> today I was in Target, you know, and. I was like, let me buy some new bedding because I'm depressed and I don't like my bedding. So let me go spend like $100 on new fucking sheets at Target. So I'm in there and I'm waltzing around. And this guy is following me around taking fucking pictures of me. Yeah, taking pictures of me in Target. 
and he like had his phone like turned to the side and he walked past me and it was like click 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 and I'm like bruh if you're gonna do that you might want to turn the fucking sound off like and also if you're gonna take a picture from me maybe don't do it from that angle and get my double chin okay it's ridiculous so if you guys see paparazzi photos of me it was this guy wearing a coral reef shirt in the Target. Yeah, so I guess you could say I'm kind of a big deal. Also, apparently people like know about the podcast because people keep fucking coming up to me about it. I mean, wait, hold on. <clears throat> I love when you guys come up to me and talk to me about the podcast. I love the fans. I love you guys. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, they keep coming up to me and they're like, oh my god, I love the podcast. It's so funny. I'm like, bro, I haven't even done it in two months. So like, how real of a fan are you? If you didn't think I was dead, then you must not have liked Thoughtology that much. <laughs> you know? Michael, Michael's probably like, why did we tell her she needs to come back here? <laughs> <laughs> Michael, what's new with you? What do you want to know? Are you married? No. Are you having a baby? No. So basically nothing new. You still live with your girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. Mm, that's right. good. And the dog is still alive, so... You have a good. dog? Yeah. I did not know that. Mm. What's up with you? Same shit, different day. Yeah, right? Like, that's why I was like, should we even make any episodes? Because there's really nothing new besides me yelling at I have something work. new for you. Oh, God, what? There you go. You said you went to Puerto Rico and yeah. you said you didn't have Wi-Fi or any of that stuff. Yeah, like a third world country, man. Yeah. What, so... That was also a joke. I feel like I really got to clarify. I'm getting, like, too good at being sarcastic. What? You, I mean, being sarcastic is part of the show. There you go. Yeah. So Sensitive sallies, man. Anyway. So you went to Puerto Rico. Did you go anywhere else while you were on your hiatus? I felt like I saw pictures of other islands, but I don't know if you were all, you were just reposting. Do you see Puerto me Rico. looking up at the sky, like trying to remember if I fucking went anywhere else? Yes. That's so sad. I'm like, <laughs> I thought you were I'm spacing like, out. <laughs> I'm like, did I go? No, I went to Texas for a wedding. Oh, I have a really funny story there you about go. Texas. All right, about Texas. So. <clears throat> Hi Bryce, love you. So that's my friend from the Coast Guard, right? So I went down, my friend Sarah got married, and I was the maid of honor, the Mo. I was a big fat Mo. And um, yeah, so that was cool. So I went down, and she was getting married, and my friend Bryce came up from where he lives in Texas to be my date. And so, oh, I'm losing the story. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. So we go out to the bachelorette party, right? And I had like posted a picture or whatever. And I'm wearing, like, a leather crop top, I think, or something, and, like, a fucking leather skirt. I don't know. I was, like, very coyote ugly, but we all know that that's, like, my thing anyway. I'm basically going to dress like this till I'm, like, 60 and just die by myself in a pair of Crocs and naked on the beach somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm super excited about it. If you, if you think I sound sad, I'm, like, really excited. That She's that's actually very happy. happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like so, the, the Crocs part. Yeah. <laughs> just butt-ass naked with a pair of Crocs on. But, um... So we're at this restaurant and all the girls were, like they had dark hair. So I kind of like stuck out anyway because my friend Sarah is Latina and like a lot of her friends are Latina and her sisters and whatever. So I'm like sticking out like a sore throat. Plus I'm tall. So I'm like sticking out. I'm sitting at the table, only blonde girl. And this older guy comes up to me and he was like, I just have to tell you oh God. that you are beautiful. That's... And I was like. I was like, oh my god, thank you so much. I was like, I just got my downstairs surgery. And he goes, you mean to tell me that you used to be a man? And I said, yes, absolutely. He said, you one of them trainees? And I said, <laughs> I said, yeah, I am. I'm Listen, I'm all for, I support everybody. Love who you want, fuck who you want, like whatever. No, okay? that's fine. Yeah. Anyway, back to my story. This is one of my favorite stories to tell because I do this all the time because I am a tomboy and I do have a deep voice. And I just love to see the look on people's fucking faces. Like, when I do it, it's fucking priceless. I do it literally all the time. Um, so anyway, he, he's like, he's like, you mean to tell me you're one of them trannies? And I was like, yeah, I am. And he was like, oh my God. And he walks away. He, he walks away and he taps to one of the bartenders. And he was like, you see that blonde girl over there? He's like, she used to be a man. It was fucking hilarious. And then, <laughs> Yeah, bro, it was <laughs> fucking hilarious. Misses. Fucking hilarious. And then we were playing some fucking card game, and it was like there was like a dare. It was like you have to go over to like some random guy and ask to call like the call like a random person in his phone. None of the girls wanted to fucking do it. They're like, no, no, I can't. 
I was like, bitch, give me that pledge card. I walked, I like strutted up like it was a Victoria's Secret walkway to the two nerdiest dudes I could find in the bar. And I was like, I was like, yeah, I need to borrow your phone really quick. And they just like looked at me like, who the fuck is this? I was like, yeah, it's for a dare. Sorry, I just need to, you know, whatever. And all the girls were like, hey, like laughing, you know, cackling. And it was, that was good. Um, and then my friend Sarah threw up and it was just a whole fucking shit show, but it was really fun. So that was cool. Um, and then I got drunk in, I want to say, I want to say near San Antonio. I don't fucking know where I was at. Texas is big. Okay. The whole weekend that I was in Dallas, I was like, wait, you mean to tell me we are not in the middle of the state? Like, I'm very confused. I still don't know where Dallas is at. Also, I don't care. I have another story for you about strippers if you want to hear it, but I know I'm being a mic hog, so you just let me know. You're being a what? A mic hog. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, I mean, a, a, it's a stripper we've, story. We've been waiting for you to like, you know. Oh, okay. Oh, you guys like actually missed me? I thought you guys were just saying that. No. I, I lie all the time and tell people I'm like, yeah. <laughs> all right. So, my friends were like, let's go to a strip club, because everybody knows I'm a fucking stripper. It's not a secret anymore. I'm sorry, Dad. Okay? <laughs> I found something I'm really good at. Honestly, you guys should have seen this coming. I had this body since I was, like, 14, okay? And I have a horrible attitude problem, so you should have seen that I was going to take, like, the easy way out and be a stripper. <laughs> but I am going to invest, you know? I don't know, start, like, a fucking legging company or some shit, or, like, sell some skinny tea or some fucking, I don't know, whatever. Some tea that makes girls shit their pants. I don't know. So, anyway, they're like, let's go see strippers. Let's go see strippers. And I was like, uh, okay, whatever, fuck it. Like, let's go. I'm not going to name the place where we were at. This is the worst strippers I've ever seen in my fucking life. This girl's walking around the pole, texting and vaping at the same time. And my friend, they're all drunk, right? Well, two of them were in school, so they, like, didn't want to drink. So we go in, and they all want to, like, party or whatever, right? And a bunch of them were in college, and I'm, like, one of the oldest people there. Because I'm, like, old everywhere. And um, they were like, uh, oh, well, let's just get a table. Let's get a table. And I was like, all right, whatever. So I ended up paying, like, $400 for a bottle of fucking Don Julio. Which I don't even drink Don Julio, right? And the girls were like, let's just get a bottle. Let's just get a bottle. And I was like, all right, whatever. Like, I'm not getting drunk. I don't drink. But fuck it, you know. <clears throat> if, it will, if it will satiate you, go ahead. So we get the bottle. We go in. And we sit down. And they're just like, oh, strippers. And I'm like, oh, these bitches fucking. Suck. Like, I brought ones from my club <laughs> to this club. And I was like, yo, these bitches are terrible. I'm like, I'm waiting for somebody to go upside down or something. Nothing. So they're, where, they're, where were you at? I want to say Dallas. Okay. If I looked up the best club, and it said it was one of the best clubs in Dallas. And I was like, this shit is sad. Maybe that's on a bad night. I don't, I don't know. know, man. That shit was sad. What I night got did you there. there. Like, huh? what, what I think it was like a Thursday, but that's still, it, do, it doesn't matter though, because even if it's a different the club, case, still be a there should still be like one or two like banging ass girls in the club, like, it's, different case. you know what I mean? So like, um, like I, I was like, bro, I could get up there right now and fucking clean house, and I mean that, like I truly <laughs> meant that. So my friend Sarah's drunk, she's like, let's go to lunch. I was like, Sarah, I know you're really drunk right now. I was like, but I cannot, in my right mind, give these bitches my money, because I worked so much fucking harder for it than they did. And I'm not doing it. So then we got like bored because the dancers, oh, they tried to take my friends for a fucking ride. They're like, yeah, let's get a room. Like, let's get a private dance. I was like, I'm a dancer. And they're like, oh. And then they like left. I was like, they're like, why aren't they coming over here? I was like, because they know they're not going to get shit out of you because I'm a fucking dancer. Like, so yeah, it was pretty late. So we left <laughs> that. She threw up. <clears throat> What's your next question? <laughs> Damn, we haven't. You got like you asked like two questions. All right, let's go. Come on, this is like SAT time. SAT. Gut answer, gut check. Well, these are these are deep, so. Oh, let's... I don't care. I'm ready. Oh. I'm ready. Okay. Check my Prozac today, guys. Well, uh, I saw some things on uh, Justin L.A. Boy oh, page. I know a lot of you guys are familiar familiar with that because he is a very uh. Wait, is this about something I put on my story? I don't. I don't know. If oh, okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> So Mariah, what? what do I do? Why do men hold on to women they don't want a relationship with? Because, oh my God, you know, before I answer this, yeah, back to relationships, by the way. Before, before questions. I answer this really quick, I did have an activated charcoal juice today, and then I just am drinking diet coke. So at some what point, what the fuck is activated charcoal? At juice? some point, I'm gonna shit my pants. Let's just say that. Anyway, 
Why do men hold on to women that they don't want to date? Because you fucking let them. That's why. That's why. That's why men hold on to women that they don't want to date because you make it easy for them. Women, <clears throat> women will do everything under the sun for a guy, thinking that it's gonna change their mind. If a man tells you that he doesn't want to date you, he doesn't want to fucking date you. Like that's it. That's that. All the girls. Yeah, like, his mind will not change. You're not gonna change his fucking mind. You might keep your fucking <laughs> options open. Honestly, like you should keep your options open. Like. I, and girls don't fucking listen. Like, you, they don't. Like, we can sit here until we're fucking blue in the face. And they'll be like, well, no, like, but maybe. And I'm like, no, Jebecca. Yeah, stop the ifs and No, ifs. Like, there is, you're, you're not the excuses. fucking exception. You're not <laughs> the exception. You know what you need to do? You need to go become a bad bitch, all right? You need to make some fucking money. You need to invest in your education, in yourself. You need to clean your fucking house, all right? You need to go to the gym. And you need to maybe get some Botox and pluck your fucking eyebrows, all right? Stop crying. And just... He does, it's convenient for him. It is a convenience thing for him. Actions speak louder than words. Even though guys are not, like, super emotional like us, like, for me, I'm very verbal, obviously. Like, I'm going to say exactly how I fucking feel, and I'm, I'm not going to hold back. But I understand that, like, a lot of guys, they, if they have feelings, they don't want to talk about it, right? But it doesn't fucking matter because it, how they treat you will show you, right? Let me give you a fucking example, okay? Child bride, okay? I'm not going to delve super deep into that, but like there was a guy that I was seeing for a while, whatever. Um, I'm not going to specify time frames. Um, basically like he, it's the little things that they will do for you. If a man is doing your laundry, if he is cooking for you, if he is saying, Hey babe, look, I got this for you. If he's doing things like that, those, what would those actions tell you? He likes you. He likes you, right? He fucks with <clears> you. <throat> if he wants you around all the time, what would that tell you? He fucks with you. He fucks with you, right? <laughs> um, if he doesn't want you to leave ever, what does that tell you? He deeply fucks with you. Okay, me. so <laughs> if that dude is making excuses, doesn't want to fucking see you, puts himself first all the time, you ask him simple things and he doesn't want to fucking do it, and like, you know... Or give you straight answers if you ask or him Or yeah, questions. just straight fucking answers. Just like, if he... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know. Care. I don't know. Question. Like, bro... Fucking leave, dude. Like, leave. I've done it. I fucking... Like, he... That... That's it. That's it. There's no... There's no if, ands, or buts. Like, stop Googling shit. Stop trying to make yourself fucking feel better. Like, <clears throat> the best thing you can do, and the only thing you have control over, is whether or not you deal with it. You know? Why are you letting yourself be held on to like you're a fucking consolation prize? Because you're not. You only want him because he doesn't fucking want you. You know? And you're making yourself look like a fucking fool. And... Girls in their fucking, you know, 19 to fucking 26, 27, like, whatever. I see girls in their fucking 30s making these mistakes. And I'm just like, men men now, like, they want to be like, oh, you know what? Well, well, I bet you have questions about it. Is this more Justin L.A. stuff after this? Okay, so moral of the story is if, if he is holding on to you but he's not dating you, one, look at your guys' life circumstances and see if that's a factor. If that's not a fucking factor, I don't care that his grandma died three years ago and he's still having a hard time, okay? Like, that's not a good fucking reason for him to not be with you. And stop doing wifey shit for men who are not doing husband shit for you. Like, don't. And, Bingo. And men that's always want to be like, well, you need to show me that you can be a wifey bitch. Mm -hmm. I, I came out the womb a fucking wifey. I don't got to show you shit. <laughs> okay, you the one that fucking is. What did Cardi B say? Um, you came on to me. First yeah, of <laughs> first of all, first of all, and then what's it? You know, don't get too comfortable because I'll cut your ass off. Like, and and that's what it is. And here's the thing, guys, don't expect you to to fuck with them the way you, that they fuck with you. You know, they don't expect it. Stop being fucking desperate. It is not attractive. All right, it's not attractive. You could have. And a, it makes them the more desperate you are, it makes them it pushes, run away it even more. Pushes like, them like, away. Ew, it pushes ew, them ew. away. <laughs> it's fucking. It's it pushes them away. If like, just fucking leave. Just fucking leave. Especially at the like three month part. Like I, I shared this thing today. You can't pretend past three months. If you start, if it's all great and whatever, and you start having issues around three months, that's because you can't fucking pretend anymore. Like, yeah. Get out. Like especially with fucking spawn of Satan, dude. I will never, ever be in a situation like that again because I, like, look back at, like, how I'm going through relationships now and I'm, like, very expeditious with the process. I'm, like, if I'm not happy, I fucking dip. I'm, like, sorry, bye. We can sit down, we can talk about it, you have a chance to improve. And I, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I will say, I will improve on my shit, too. But if I tell you, <laughs> hey, this is what's going on and you don't improve, then I'm fucking leaving. Whereas, like, with Spawn of Satan, it was like, oh... 
he's got a fucking 23 year old stalker well what if he ends up with her like i would be so upset now i honestly hope that y'all end up together because you fucking deserve each other and stop blocking me on uh fucking instagram marcus because none of us give a shit about <coughs> you just wanted you to know anyway continue <laughs> next question oh my god this so activated, that, that was dead. This that was activated dead. charcoal fucking with my guts jesus so, you know how, like, girls, you I'm see ready. girls in there, uh, they always have, like, a new best friend. Like, they never Ugh. can keep Ugh. friends, and they just have a really, girl, like, women who really struggle with having girlfriends. Me. What, to you, is, like, being a good friend, and that's pretty much the question, like, do you so, think you're, like... I, this is what How I do you make your girlfriend relationships last? I think you and me are good because <laughs> we're friends, but we're not up each other's asses. You know what I mean? Like, I still have your back. And if you, if, like, so let's, let's give an example. Me and Jax, I haven't talked to you in, like, what, a month? On and off a little bit. Like, here and there, whatever, right? But me and Jax are not, like, FaceTime each other every day, like, whatever. Like, we're more of, like, friends, and we kind of, like, work together, you know? Yeah. And, but the thing is, if, if Jax and Jeff had an emergency... They could call me. If you guys got in a car accident and you're like, we need somebody to come pick us up, I'll fucking be there. You know what I mean? Like, if I had a fucking emergency, I would hope that you guys would do the same for me. Now, here's the issue. Girls are super fucking codependent. Like, girls are so... And I and I see it all the time in the club. It's like a big thing. Like, dancers go through friends really fucking fast. Like, because girls are always coming to new clubs and they're going here and they're going there. And a lot of them are young. A lot of them are a lot younger than me. It happens in the military, like... It's, this is not high school where it's like, oh, like, well, I'm going to go over to Miranda's house after school and we're going to watch One Tree Hill. By the way, Miranda, I'm watching One Tree Hill again. just wanted you to know. <laughs> and, um, like, it's not like that. It's not like where life is, like, fucking convenient and you don't really have anything else to do besides fucking go to school and hang out at your best friend's house, you know? Like, life gets complicated and when you're younger and you're, like, lost, you want to cling to somebody because you just left home you know and you think that every friend that you make is going to be a lifelong friend and i'm here to tell you that is not the fucking case like you are going to have so many fucking temporary people in your life and like i have lost friends in the last year that like devastated me absolutely <laughs> devastated me like i shed tears over it you know i was so upset but at the end of the day everything happens for a fucking reason and like i say like this is my thing if you are we talking about best friends but like I'm saying, like, what what is being a good friend? How do these girls that have issues keeping, like, having actual girlfriends they can depend on, how are they, is it, do you think it's them? More somebody or? like me or somebody who's, like, pushing friends away? You want me to explain the difference? Well, like, more just in general, like, like girls how can these yeah. girls be good friends to other people, to okay. other women? Okay, because so they might be struggling with keeping their friends. They don't know if it's them it's or it's kind of complicated. I used to have this issue a lot when I was younger because I just didn't know how to like set boundaries, right? And the thing is, like, you cannot <laughs> expect everybody to treat you the way that you treat them, right? So I would think that these girls were my best friends, and you know, I would ride or die for them, and everything that they told me was the fucking truth. And because why would they lie to me? You know, I've always just been kind. of... When I was younger, I was a lot more trusting than I am now. Now I'm just like, bro. I'm yeah, like, I, I, I would definitely agree with that. Yeah, I'm like, I just don't give a fuck now, you know? But um, you have to learn how to set boundaries because the thing is, like, especially with me, like, it's it's hard for me to be friends with girls that are a lot younger than me because they think they fucking know everything. They really think that they do. And, like, they just won't take themselves out of shitty fucking situations. And older girls do that, too, like me with some of the relationships that I've been in, like, the best one that I can use. I haven't had, like, a longer relationship than I did with fucking Spawn of Satan, and so that's why I use it as an example. Like, I had everybody telling me to leave, right? I had everybody telling me to leave, but I didn't. And that's just, like, an example. Like, as a friend, like, you can't... Sometimes you just gotta fucking be there. Like, you just gotta be there. Like, you can't just, you can't just like, give up on people because they're going through shit, but you also have to let them make their own fucking mistakes, right? So, like, my best friend, Michelle... Y'all haven't even seen Michelle. Like, I always talk about Michelle. Nobody fucking knows what she looks like, where she is. People think she's made up. People have told me that. They're like, yo, is this the, like an imaginary friend you have? No. She's my best friend. We were stationed together in Guam. And, like, we have been through the shit. Like, we have beat the shit out of each other. We have fought. We have screamed at each other. Like, but we're fucking family. You know? And, like, that's like a 10-year friendship. And once you're friends for that long... Like, 
it keeps, keeps going. You yeah, can. it keeps going. And there's you guys both have like a, an understanding at that point, like we know each other. You so can always well. work through anything. Yeah, absolutely. And like the thing is, like with being a good friend, it's like you have to really decide, like you have to open yourself up and be like, okay, is this something that I'm doing or is this something that they're doing? And can we sit down and can we talk about this? Is this friendship really worth saving? Or is this just like, we are just not as compatible as friends as we thought, you know, for me and Michelle, it's like, we both have had fights. We haven't spoken for months. One time we didn't speak for an entire fucking year, you know, and it literally felt like somebody died, but there's been times that we'll have fights and she'll be like, listen, you're doing this a lot. And like, it hurts my fucking feelings, you know, and I'll say the same thing to her. Right. Mm -hmm. And we'll work on it because we give a shit and we want to continue to be fucking friends, you know? So it's like, you have to decide what friendships are worth like working through and sitting down and communicating about. And then what's like, okay, listen, like this is just hurting me. If it's fucking hurting you, dude, dip the fuck out. Life's too fucking short. Like, and honestly, I'm not, not all friends need to be be saying, be saying this, this is the easiest way to tell if they can't fucking take accountability. That is like the biggest fucking red flag in a friendship ever okay like I got a fight with a girl I don't know it's like a couple months ago and like she just didn't want to take any fucking accountability for anything that she fucking did like none of it and and it was just like projection and like well you did this Mariah you did this Mariah and I'm just like bro I'm not denying any of that but look at the things that you have done and tell me that that shit's not fucked up you know and it was just like excuses excuses and that's some young girl shit that's some young girl shit if you want to be a fucking woman and you want people to treat you like you're a woman you have to act like a fucking woman and next michael i lied we're gonna be here a little bit longer <laughs> <laughs> oh. all right let's see who do you want to ask next it's a good one mm. so when men post uh pics with money what is the first thought that comes to your head um my vagina gets drier than the sahara fucking desert that is like, I have got... So it's a, tur- it's a turn off? It's fucking gross. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Not ever have I dated a man that posts their fucking money on Instagram. Bro, are you kidding me? First of all, I, I guys do this thing. This actually happened to me recently. So, you know when guys will, like, go like, like, 10 of your fucking pictures and then follow you? And I'm like, yeah, I see you trying to, like, poke me with your fucking penis through your pants. Like, I see it. I'm just fucking ignoring you, you know? And, um, so I went to this dude's page just because I was, like, fucking curious. I don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. And it's just all, like, ooh, look at me sitting on my stoop with, like, a bunch of fucking... I'm like, bro, what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? If you were wearing a Louis belt and your mattress is on the floor, I'm sorry. You need to get your fucking priorities straight. There ain't not a chance in fucking hell that I... (laughs) No. Absolutely not. Gross. Yeah. The the mattress on the floor is... That's the biggest thing that I've, like, has ever killed me. Yeah. Like, I, I just don't understand get that. Get your fucking priorities you can straight. Go to, you can go to Amazon and get a $90 bed frame. It ain't hard. Like, a, a cheap metal something. It just shows how... Yeah, you, you don't have to sleep on the floor It just anymore. shows how like, fucking it, skewed their priorities are. Like, yeah, it's, it's really gross to me. It's fucking so unattractive. Like, don't like it at all. Yeah, like, and oh, yeah. Why, why do you guys like all the photos, then follow you? Or why do they even like all the photos and then don't even follow you? Dude, because I have the guy that, that I'm talking about. That just makes no sense to me. How about you just he follow un- me and then send a DM? And then if I don't answer, leave it at that. Hold on. That's what it should be. I'm just pulling up a DM right now. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, by the way, real quick, then then we'll get back to our um, previously scheduled programming. I would just like to shout out to our sponsors. Um, Seductress by Jax, LLC. Yeah, um, even though my lashes that are butt-ass naked and have been for a minute, I'm just kind of been, like, returning to my Tarzan phase, you know, where I just, that's like, good. Sometimes just, like, to roll around in the dirt and not really give a fuck, you know, like, that's kind Sometimes of, it's needed. kind of nice. Um, and then also Stuck Up, I don't know his Instagram because I don't pay attention. Stuck Up. Stuck Up, that's Jeff's clothing line. <laughs> stuck Up Clothing. Yeah, and he better give me a discount. LLC. LLC, important bitch part. Um, and then also, Studio Moba is the sponsor, and she does my hair. And you should go follow her on Instagram. She's an amazing color. She know Moba, don't you? Yeah, you know Moba. Studio Moba. She's gonna be a sponsor because I just, I just decided that, and I just texted her right now and said, hey, do you want to be a sponsor? <laughs> <laughs> no, too late. But yeah, um, she's amazing. Like all my, all the, uh, yo, these bitches always be asking, like, where do you get your hair done? All right, 
Alright. What well, let's just fucking let's just go through this real quick. Oh no, fuck it. I'm not telling people my nail lady. I already told everybody my nail lady, and I can never see her. And everybody knows where I get my lashes done. If I get my lashes done, I get them done by Jax. If I get my hair done, I get it done in Studio MOBA. If I get and when you get your new fresh clothes, can be stuck up clothing. Yeah, LLC. stuck up clothing, streetwear. Wait, we got sweatpants? Please tell me we got baggy sweatpants. I don't know if he created sweatpants yet. We got oh, for, it's upcoming for fall. Upcoming shirts. We do have sweatpants. Crop tops. He's cropped he's hoodies. <laughs> I got Stop some, looking at me like that. I got some <laughs> fucking ideas. Yo, I love Adderall, man. This is why I only take it like once a month, because I don't feel like doing all this work all the time. I'm retired, didn't y'all know? Anyway, next question. Well, what are your questions? I don't know if I have any questions. I'm trying to think, but also, I think we should just air this as one fucking episode, because I don't give a shit, and, you know. Michael, you can yell at me about that later, that's fine. Oh, I'm pretty much a Move the mouse, damn it. I did move the mouse! Sam, what's new with you? <laughs> you have kids. How many? You already asked this. Two? Yeah. I forget <laughs> things. Boys or girls? Girls? Oh my god, so cute. Wait, how old are they? 7 11. 7 11? Oh, they're not at the bad stage yet. <laughs> have you seen, wait, speaking of which, have you seen the TikTok where the girlfriend's trying to teach her boyfriend how to say 7 Eleven? And he goes, yeah. he goes, 7 Eleven. <laughs> <I don't, laughs> she'll be like, 7 Eleven. And she'll be like, say 7. And I'll be like, Zin. 7. And then she'll be like, say 11. She'll be like, 11. She'll be like, say 7-Eleven. 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 She's like, you're just deleting like like half the fucking letters out of this. <laughs> um, super cute. If you ever need a babysitter, you can call me, but I know you won't because you don't want to leave your children with me. I wouldn't want to either. I'm not saying they'll come back with tattoos, but, you know. Um, Jax, you got to be doing something fucking new, man. What else should we talk about? Um, Hot Girl Summer? Yeah, Hot Girl Summer? People, yeah. people are saying, what's the, the new um, quote that people are saying? They're saying, fuck hot girl summer, I'm trying to hustle. So, something like that. I can't, I can't remember what the, what the bottom part was. I already do that, man. I'd be, like, taking people's money all the fucking time. Like, literally. Last night, this guy gave me all the money that he had to throw at Chandler because, because of the kidney story. And I'm talking, like, it was, like, $100 easy. I literally did nothing last night. And, like, I shouldn't be proud to say this, but I don't give a fuck, because when have I ever given a fuck? I did nothing last night. I made $600. I didn't even put, I didn't even put mascara on. I didn't even brush my teeth. That's good. And I just, like, barely gyrated and jiggled on the stage. Like, I was like, I'm not doing this today. Hey. I don't care. I was like, hi. <laughs> They're like, what's your name? I was like, I was never given one. Like, I just don't give a fuck. Um, I'm the meanest stripper to ever live. Um, yeah, fucking hustle, man. Like, what are you guys doing for the summer? You have a Cali trip planned? Los Angeles. LA. Oh my god, am I invited? It's Jeff's uh, brother's So I am invited. Friend. So I am invited. No, I'm not. No, Jeff's friend. brother's birthday. That's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, is anybody getting fucking married or anything? Crazy? No. I can't believe. Let's just talk about how I can't believe I haven't gotten divorced. <laughs> like, that's shocking to me. That is more shocking to me than I haven't gotten married, because that I understand. But I'm just very shocked that I haven't gotten divorced. Yes, you do have to get married to get divorced. But, no. I'm just saying. Hinge is dry. Hinge is fucking dry, man. It's DC. I don't know what it is. That's because people are not like on Hinge anymore. They're just going out in DC and just meeting people in person. I don't want to do that. Because they can. I fucking... Yo, this is the thing, too. And I was like talking to the girls about this. Michael, are you getting this? Or can you get this? Yeah. Can make sure you don't do like the shaky all timer again, though. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hold on, hold on. Okay. We'll get Sam to get it. She wants to get this as a trailer. Well, I mean, no, just like a video for the phone. Yeah, now sure. we gotta cut all this hibber jabber out. No, keep it in. What in the what? No. no. <laughs> what in the habit dash and hemoglobin? God. Um. Listen, strippers. All these guys are always asking me like, how do I date a stripper, right? Stop being a fucking asshole. How about that, all right? Listen, we're objectified all fucking day, right? All fucking day. And guys will be like, well, I don't want to tell you you're pretty because guys that work tell you that you're pretty all the time. All and the I'm time, like, yeah. yeah, guys are also trying to give me a fucking colonoscopy at work, okay? I just want to come home 
Alright, I just want some chamomile tea ready, I want a fucking bath drawn, and I just want you to tell me that I'm fucking pretty, okay? That's all. It doesn't take that much, okay? We don't need to be, like, we're objective. Maybe some, some roses. And here's the thing, some here's roses. the thing. Strippers, I feel like a lot, I mean, there's, there's different breeds of strippers, okay? For me, I will cut you off so fucking fast, because I, I'm around men who don't give a fuck about me all day. All day! All fucking day! Like, okay, I, I exaggerate, I work like three days a week, whatever. But I'm like, I'm around men all, like, all the time who are like, oh my god, I would marry you, I love you. I'm like, you don't even know my fucking name. Like, I literally told some guy I was on parole the other day, and he's like, I don't care. I still date you. I was like, I'm a violent offender, I broke a fucking beer bottle over another dude's head. And he was like, when can we go out? And I was like, we're not going out. Anyway, if you're dating a stripper, okay, number one, we don't want to fuck everybody we meet. We barely want to fuck you half the time. You're, like, you're annoying. Don't be annoying about our fucking job, okay? We're making bread. I, like, I make more money than a lot of the dudes that try to, like, try to date me, like, whatever. Like, just cut her some fucking slack. We get objectified all fucking day. We get asked stupid fucking questions. We just want to come home to the person that we care about and be cared about and be babied a little bit, you know? Don't make, like, we have to be a dick all day at work. Like, for, I mean, for me, I do. Other girls are like, hi. Oh, <laughs> oh, Michael, you're in finance? Wow, that's so interesting. Tell me more. <laughs> oh, this is my breathy voice. Yeah, let's do a private room. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> fucker, are you on your lunch break? Cool, give me all your money and don't <laughs> fucking talk to me again. Um, I have to be a dick all day at work. I want to come home and be baby, you know? Like, I want to be like, babe, what's for dinner? Babe, will you snuggle me? Like, that's what I want to do when I get home. I don't want to be like, well, I'm not going to tell you you're pretty because everybody tells you that you're fucking pretty. I'm like, okay, dude, like, whatever. This is why you're getting locked out of the HBO, okay? I'm changing the fucking password. Yeah, you still have to keep doing yeah, regular you boyfriend wanna, thing. And here's the thing, man. Doing. Here's the thing. I don't give a fuck what I look like right now. I don't care because I know what I can look like, and I know my personality's in 11. Okay? Did you hear me say 11? Yeah, I did. <laughs> My personality's an 11. And, um, if you had a bad bitch, you better do some shit to keep her. It doesn't have to be, like, and this is the thing that fucking pisses me off. I got pissed the other day at a dude. Because I'm like, for me, I'll, buy me some half-dead flowers, bro. I don't give a fuck. Like, I am not easy to fucking please. I am not easy to please. And I know you know what I'm talking about. Especially girls in my career field. They're out here asking for fucking Louis Vuitton, Fendi. Like, oh, I want this. Oh, I want that. Yeah, don't oh, don't approach me unless you're yeah, only talking like, bread. Literally, like, <laughs> don't want to fuck with you unless you are just going to, like, foot their lifestyle. Foot their and lifestyle. Immediately. And I'm sitting here living in that lifestyle, coming home and watching fucking cartoons with you. And I'm like, can you get me some fucking flowers? And he's like, uh, I don't know. And I'm like, all right, cool. Like, it ain't fucking hard. You need to realize when you got a dime before she fucking leaves you, and then you're stuck with a fucking penny, okay? That was a really good analogy. Next question. Are we out of questions? That was all my questions. Michael, just, do you have any questions? After your back. Huh? After your back. Yeah, that's all right. Maybe, you know, whatever. Never mind, I take it back. No, don't you dare take it back. All right, You're yeah, so, so pretty, Mariah. So things, this is, I'm so pretty. Yeah. Um, so this is Thoughtology, guys. Um, ask us your fucking questions. Um, yeah. Like, follow, subscribe. Ask, ask some juicy questions. Yeah, man, stop with this boring shit. Like, stop, yeah, stop the Chad, Chad and me haven't seen each other in three months, but I think we're still together. But he's going to, like, San Antonio to see this girl. Do you think I should be worried? Yeah, I think you should be worried if you haven't seen your boyfriend who lives five minutes from you in three months. I think you should be worried, okay? Oh my god, I need to go to the spa. Anyway, alright, uh, like, follow, subscribe. Thanks to my team for being here today and forcing me to, you know, just do what, <laughs> god, what god gifted me to do was basically just be sarcastic as fuck. Um, yeah, we'll be back. I don't really have a schedule for you guys for episodes because, you know, I'm just like fucking winging shit right now. But, alright, love you. Bye. Wait, did I forget anything? Do I care if I forgot anything? No, I don't. Make sure you leave that in, Sam. Alright.